speak of the infrastructure sector and I have one positive observation and one request. The observation is that we in CII have been observing uh, the infrastructure intensity of the budget and around 2000 about 33% of the budgetary allocation was for infrastructure. Under your leadership last year it went up to 46.5 and this year as you have just announced it has gone up to 48.5, almost half the budget. So we just want to compliment you that in terms of the intent of the government and its reflection in the budget, the infrastructure intensity has gone up significantly from, 30 to, from 33 to 48.5. Please accept our compliments for that. The, last, the next point is a request. It is to do with something one has had the pleasure of discussing with you earlier, it is to do with the definition of infrastructure. So there are 14 official definitions of infrastructure and as you go through various uh, chambers of commerce, you will hear many sectors wanting infrastructure status. Uh, I think, sir, the time has come because so much of tax interventions, positive policies, etc. are being geared towards this sector that there seems to be confusion on the definition of infrastructure. Uh, and uh, may I just request you, under the auspices of the Finance Ministry, if a task force can be set up uh, to define infrastructure, we are also a little in intrigued by the fact that this time you have included fertilizer also as the infrastructure sector. So this aspect requires comprehensive focus and clean up with uh, definitions. From CRI side, sir, we have informed the government that we do not think India requires one definition, but probably five core score sector, social sector, rural, urban and land intensive. So we have suggested five definitions of infrastructure. That is for your consideration. Thank you. Thank you very much for the compliment of making larger allocation for infrastructure sectors. But I do feel, particularly when my requirement in the 12th plan is one trillion dollar, 48.6 percent of 4,41,000 crore of rupees is quite inadequate. But nonetheless, whatever is possible within the constraints we are doing, large amount, almost 50 percent, will have to come from the private sectors. And in respect of the def determining the definition of infrastructure, I will request Secretary and Department of Economic Affairs to respond to that question in the context of your suggestion of setting up also a task force. So the, uh, this definition of infrastructure has, has both I mean, uh, elements relating to hard physical infrastructure as well as the social infrastructure sectors. Um, there was a group uh, which worked under both uh, my predecessor Mr. Ashok Chawla as well as under Mr. Kaushik Basu. They did a uh, good amount of work. We are close to identifying sectors which are uh, to be brought into the definition of infrastructure for various for all purposes so there is uniformity across uh, all agencies um, and if uh, I think we should be we, we are close to uh, getting that cleared uh, I think FM is so intent so keen on this maybe in a month's time we should be in a position to come out with that thanks Vijay thank you yeah. thank you Hari Sir, I would uh, make a couple of comments on behalf of the education and skill sector. Uh, first of all, uh, our compliments, very sincere compliments for increasing the allocation to ed for education from um, uh, to 52,000 crores, uh, which is 24% more than last year, as well as 40% 40, 40 increase in SSA allocation. While this is indeed uh, very nice to know, but this still keeps us very far away from our targeted spend on education to 6% of GDP on one hand and second uh, from the large goal that we have of providing 500 million skilled youth as well as 200 million graduates. So I had some uh, uh, three very specific recommendations for your kind consideration. First of all, there are private sector participants who are engaged in uh, setting up schools and educational institutions in rural areas and uh, these are cause, uh, uh, causing employability as well as an inclusive agenda. So is there a way a portion of Sarva Shiksha Abhyan funds that can be allocated to these private sector initiatives or aid these private sector initiatives? In any case, 
a part of sarva shiksha abhiyan budget goes unspent every year so it is good if this can be used for these purposes and it will definitely help the agenda the second was making the industry spend on skills development government today has a policy of uh, weighted deduction 200% weighted deduction for r&d spend can 200% weighted deduction be considered for skills development by the industry because this will definitely help the charter and the third very specific recommendation is about service tax on vocation skills providers other than the fact that it increases the cost of delivering skills education to the end consumer it actually reduces the velocity of doing business because the administrative burden of providing for all this especially for a very fragmented industry and a, a sunrise industry in many ways uh, is very very large so these are three things for your consideration sir thank you very much for your suggestions i would like to share some information with you that nearly 2500 schools been set up under ppp by the school education department your suggestion is whether some of these funds could be provided to those private sector some of them are doing excellent jobs instantly come to my mind that the number of <coughs> educational institutions particularly at the primary level set up by satya bharti school organization from bharti steel because they are raising the basic foundation and having the cluster of educational bearing down those primary schools 10 12 to have a secondary school quality education is being provided so how to tie it up that some part of the public fund could be given to them that is a matter to be worked out in respect of the weighted deductions i do not know whether it will be possible right now but some of the suggestions which you will have to which you will make i will not be able to respond because i cannot and i should not any taxation proposals are to be responded only on the floor of the parliament not outside therefore keeping that in view i think we have my colleagues have also noted your suggestions and some of these are already on i do believe larger investment should also come from the private sectors in education the second point is gdp calculation is to be made not merely from the allocation in the central government or union government gdp percentage is to be calculated taking into account the allocations made by the state governments and the union government of course it is well below even if i take into account of the allocations made by the state government it is well below the targeted and declared 6% of gdp i hope by the 12th plan we will be able to achieve the target thank you 